Okay, Pacifica with Sprayquaza. This bow is amazing because you do not need a targeting perk from the hip to make it 100 aim assist. So you get to throw trace rifle targeting on. So I have a better Aegis experience. You need double and flinching trace if you're going to run a trace. You just take flinch so bad. I'm even thinking of dropping one recov just to have 10. It's because it's that bad. I can knock him off the map. That worked out way better than I thought that that glaive got away with murder. I should use my rift as a health pack when I get body shot. Holding AC on this map is the only way to play it. I don't think you ever go to B unless you just are looking for kills. That's why the Glaive survived. That adds up now. Did I not get a Devour extension because of that? Because I knocked him into the wall? I'm sad. Feedback fence. Okay. Just lunge like Ophidians, even though I'm not wearing them. Throwing knives annoy me for that exact reason. The weapons in general don't have enough of a TTK to stop them from just leading with a knife after they're scared. Oh! Spray Quaza! You didn't have to. It's way more than I thought I'd get. I'll take it. I would tear out heart with my teeth. When someone else puts on Spray Quaza, that's how you know you did it right. Only half my super used for that. Okay then. The glaive's gonna be a problem here in a sec.
Okay. Take that iron will beyond the Let's run it back. Okay, so a review of this loadout so far. I like this bow. This is probably my favorite bow in the game, just for having hip fire opening shot. It frees up so much helmet room. Not to mention it's also void, so harmonic siphon does come into play on double kills. Hip fire grip from the air is like surprisingly more accurate from aiming down sight or than aiming down sights. So leading with the bow in the air makes a lot of sense, but the problem is I don't have heat rises to draw the bow and jump at the same time. So this is more like a hunter bow or a lion rampant on Titan bow or a top tree dawn blade bow. It really struggles to find its place and you lose so many precious milliseconds just switching between the two weapons to have the right weapon out at the right time. Whereas with hunter, the bow is the right answer more often than not. Aegis Scepter, my favorite one of just weapons in the game, let alone trace rifles. If I get a kill, it slows someone nearby, which makes getting the second kill a lot easier because I can guarantee they're not going to fly at me with the shotgun when they're slowed down. So the multi-kill potential is amazing, and it turns something that I dislike using, like a dump super, into a potential 7th column super. So for that alone, I like it. If I had to build this again for Secant Filaments, I would probably ditch the bow and go for something else. Obviously the Pulse Rifle makes a lot of sense, maybe BXR, but then it'd both cover medium distance and I would wish that I had Forerunner on for most of the match until I have a super. The amount of energy I have right here means that I would probably have to ditch one resilience, which matters in the Trace Rifle, to get like a scout targeting or something on the helmet. Adria plus a scout is probably going to be Probably going to be doing better than the bow for some maps for me. And I would want to use something like Contingency Plan. This thing is amazing for what it is. Let's see, what is the map? But the current armor I have on right now kind of pushes me towards like SMG targeting. To where I'd probably want to run this with Funnel Web and play really aggressive. My problem is Special Weapon Ammo is just not abundant enough with Trace Rifles. Maybe they just got recently buffed to get more ammo, but I sure don't notice it out in the wild. So for Cauldron, I definitely would want to go the SMG route. So let me grab my fun web. Then I can get my resilience back on. I'll just go no targeting. My plan is to lead with the Ager anyway. So I have handheld supernova, so running double primary isn't as scary as it should be. About to have frenzy, so I'm just gonna peek first. Keep going. Keep going. I got stuck on the door, unfortunately. Ready for the right side. You know what? I can close off that angle at the same time. Dude, this spray transfer is addicting. Eighteen bullets of pain. It was enough. It was exactly enough. Oh, nice. I got Devourer off that. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you, teammates. My teammates are going huge right now.
My teammates are going amazing here. Playing amazing. That was definitely Dune Marchers. I don't have a lot of ammo, so I really don't want to use my Devourer. Psych me hurting myself made me decide. Even with 14 bullets, this is the right weapon to have out. Oh, let's go. Did I buy Stinger it? I did! I love this gun so much. I'm gonna feed Spray Quazo a damn rare candy after this one. I don't know how, but uh, Handheld Supernova made some plays. Chat with the big tips to tell me to put on Weekend on it. That helps so much. So, so, so much. For Cauldron, I might genuinely run this more often. I have the TTK to handle one person on stairs and then anyone else on this map because there's only like one long lane on this map. Maybe two. It's on that top bridge looking into either spawn or that top bridge looking into either flag. Those are the only long lanes. Everything else is medium and short. So yeah, Frenzy also went pretty big here and Vice Singer went pretty big here. I would definitely run this again. This was fun.